it's me Pavitra and here um, today we're gonna do a crude oil forecast uh, how and what are the levels crude is going to behave and what are the levels it going to achieve uh, just a small recap of uh, last week level what I mentioned I mentioned a strong up move or a, uh, on a four hour candle close or even a daily candle close above 41.60 is needed for a further bull rally to continue and for further bear rally to continue I said somewhere around 38.50 has to be close and below uh, just look into that as far as uh, that level is concerned as uh, so not there is so there has not been a strong close above that level and even uh, below that level just check into an uh, 30 minutes time frame i think it will clear some gap for us um, it was trying to trying its level best to go over that region on uh, 13th uh, it came nearly a small retrace has been happened after that buy and suddenly uh, somewhere around at uh, uh, after Indian market closes a crash happened after that it tried to fill below but it took a trend line support somewhere around 39 as I said uh, a strong close is needed below 38.50 level if a close had happened at that region then uh, beer bearish sentiment might have came came into the market but uh, it took support at um, somewhere near 39.30 or you we can even, even say 39 dollar level uh, it had uh, took a great support over that region once it has taken that support a strong uh, bullish sentiment has formed in the market it is keep on making higher highs and higher lows on uh, 16th um, uh, the top has been reached i thought it will break but uh, it has been making a lower low since then and the bearish channel has been in play um, if we can mark this then it will be easy for us to understand i'm just connecting the highs of the channel maybe it will give some space for us to understand uh, if you are marked and uh, just closed over this region in this region will be acting as a uh, stiff resistance until this uh, trend line gets broken um, it will be trying to sustain in that range uh, maybe on the downside we are looking at uh, 40.30 or 40.10 in this level it's taking support it has taken support three times so what are the levels we should be watching out carefully same as of yesterday oh, sorry last week 41.60 has to be broken until then there is no strong bull into the market on a lower side uh, my close is needed is somewhere around uh, a close below the recent low uh, maybe around the close below 39 uh, will start to for a market to fall further but once market has closed in below this region maybe i can mark this uh, place where it has taken support this is the place if it has uh, if it closed below the region then market will try to come near to this region somewhere around 39.70 region and the, that will act as a uh, small small support and it will act as a strong temporary resistance region because the uh, old levels are getting breached the new levels are getting formed so right now um, 39.90 is not valid for us we will mark a new one we can take this one so on a one hour basis this will act as a strong region for now and uh, this one is acting as a strong region for now oh, we can even take into consideration about this level to uh, maybe around 39.10 instead of uh, this one we can even take a consideration of the recently formed one because this is where the origin of the move has started so we can even consider that so these are the levels we should be watching out these are the newly formed uh, support and reason uh, for us uh, 
for a complete bull market to end uh, what is the level we should be focused on a strong close below the recent low of 38.50 if a market is close and below this region then there is a swift to fall will be there in the market until then 39.10 and 39.70 and 40 these all will try to uh, observe all the selling pressure in the market once the selling pressure is become more than uh, the buying pressure in this region then market will start to fall uh, i have noted uh, a significant change in day candle and uh, um, it has been formed that uh, nearly three times divergence has formed uh, there is a saying that uh, whenever there is a huge divergence or many divergence taking place in a script uh, the script is tend to be weaker the fall is on the cards so this is trying this is coming into a conclusion that uh, I was saying for the past uh, one and a half months uh, I will be in a sell on rise since I am not favorable in this rise and uh, uh, because of the covid situation there has been no demand um, to only to stabilize the market uh, prices being pushed higher by the officials so uh, correction is pending in the market uh, you can either say correction or a fall um, no matter what uh, a small big rally towards the downside is still pending uh, this is the first divergence which has happened at 5th june this is the second one which has happened on 32nd June and this is the third one recently it has formed um, on 15th of June let's see uh, where this goes on so this is the three correction which has happened that's all temporary one uh, I'm expecting a greater fall in crude oil uh, let's see how many bearish divergence will be forming until the crude falls uh, maybe um, I'm expecting somewhere around uh, still two more bearish divergence will be on the cards after that a uh, fall will be pending uh, let's see right now on a day candle it's taking resistance at 60 once it f uh, falls below 40 then there is no stopping of crude oil it will try to take uh, support at 60 for time being and uh, if uh, the support gets broken then it will take resistance at 60 and it mar market will try to go near 40 once it goes near 40 then it is obvious that it is going to take support uh, after taking support if it reaches 60 then it will take resistance over that region so that is where the range shift might uh, start to happen on a bear side so right now i am still weak in the market so what are the levels uh, we should be watching out uh, on a closing basis is that uh, the same 41 point uh, 50 or 60 uh, need to be close and above on a daily candle or a 4 hour candle uh, for a bull market to continue and right now it is in a uh, bear phase or uh, we can say uh, it's in a bearish channel uh, this is the lower eye first lower eye this is the second lower eye this is the third lower high this is the fourth one and you can consider whether this has a lower low even this is second one this is the third one this is the fourth one so it has formed uh, a nice bearish channel uh, let's see whether the bearish channel will be in play or uh, even that uh, trend line which has been drawn from 14th maybe around sorry um, maybe around 12th or 10th of july the trend line is still intact let's see uh, it's a kind of an um, um, pin edge shaped or we can even say ascending triangle let's see whether we, on which side the breakout will be available um, maybe if it breaks above one for 41.50 then rally will be on upper side if it breaks on a lower side then a strong close below 38.40 is required if uh, uh, 4 hour candle close or daily candle close had happened at uh, below 38.5 then we can be uh, in a strong selling zone or we can even add one or two lots uh, over that position a strong 
bull bear zone will be coming only below 38.50 and a strong bull zone is above 41.50 until that region if um, it may be around three to four weeks the range has been not been broken 38.5 to uh, 41.60 mm, maybe two to three weeks your uh, market is playing in the in this range uh, maybe it's trying to be in a consolidation mode uh, let's see whether it is going to give a breakout on upper side or on a breakdown or lower side so this is what you should be keeping in mind uh, right now it is forming a bearish channel and uh, on a support side you should be looking out for, uh, for the region around 40 and uh, 39.70 region you should be looking out for and uh, the recent one is 39 and the previous uh, strong support is somewhere around uh, 38.50 if uh, most probably if 39 gets broken then look out for uh, 38.50 strong support will be coming over that region once that region is taken out then um, 37 will be on the cards after 37 then 35.80 then 34.50 will be on the cards on upper side uh, as usual um, 43 42 and 45 will be the max let's see how this goes on on RSI is clearly indicating a, a bearish divergence um, it has formed a three bearish divergence till now uh, for many divergence is formed uh, on a daily chart then uh, the script is expecting to be weak and something fishy is going on the same is happening in crude oil let's see after uh, how many divergence uh, the market is we will be ready to fall so until then uh, be a sell on rise if a market has closer now above 41.50 then square off your positions which you have taken in a sell side and uh, uh, try to play with an hedge on a buy side that's it from me today uh, these are the level you should be watching out and uh, let's see how this plays on in the coming week mm, look out for an api data on a wednesday morning and inventory at uh, 8 p.m. in the evening it will be a crucial one last week it played a huge role both of the data came um, strong positive so we'll see how this data plays on the coming weeks thank you